Hey, what's up, YouTube? Man, I'm just making this little video before I go to sleep. Just got out the shower, but one thing that I want to say is that um, I'm really getting sick of a lot of men in our community, man. Um, I really don't like black men who are inspired by the Red Pill movement uh, because they punks and cowards. If you are a black man and you are on a panel saying that black women don't qualify for protection or have to qualify for, for protection, you are the enemy of black women. Matter of fact, you're the enemy of black people in general because why is a black man on panels with other black men having conversations whether they own group of women deserve protection? Y'all do sound like white men, bro. I'm not even trying to go there, but it shouldn't even be no question whether a black woman qualifies for protection or not. See, because what I'm not understanding is what makes her qualify for protection? If you, because what I'm hearing is if you as a black man see a black woman walking down the street and somebody hit, hit her in the head randomly, whatever, you're going to be like, I just got to get back home to my wife. Yeah, but you're getting back home a coward. You are a coward. So what are we talking about? Are y'all really going to sit here and say that, well, if she just dressed this way, then she was setting herself up to get graped? Or if she was, it's just dumb talking points. Or if she goes down that alley and she get got, or she should have never, she should have never been out uh, in that alley. If she's out past 10 o'clock, that th these are the talking points that these men will say. That this is the talking point that some of y'all black men will get online and say, bro, call me pandering, call me some, I don't care. I'm I'm literally exposing the evilness that's coming out your mouth of the things that you be saying. The worst thing some of y'all dudes ever did was open your mouth. We as black men should not even be questioning whether we protect our own women or not, or whether they qualify. If you see a woman get hurt and you do nothing. And you could have did something. I'm not asking you to be a superhero, but what, what does protection look like? It's not always physical. You can call the cops. And you can say, hey, hey, stop, hey. Something. Or if you have a chance to put your paws on a, on a, on a person, put your paws up. But to have conversations whether black women deserve protection or not, you are an idiot. And you are, you are an evil black man to get online and, and say that. Y'all dudes are pathetic. The worst group. Oh, I ain't gonna say that. I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm, I'm, I've been showing. I'm not coddling you dudes, but I'm, I'm showing y'all a little grace. If you are having conversations, whether your own group of women deserve protection, you are a failed man. The worst thing, you know what? I understand that there's an uproar, in men feeling like, oh, well, we never been able to voice our opinion. We were silenced. That was a good thing. The black man being quiet was a good thing. Because now that y'all opened y'all mouth, look at what you're saying. You calling dudes that I, I guess defend women. You calling them simps. But then you can get online and call black women the enemy. And, and say a whole bunch of disdainful stuff about black black women. And and then, but a dude who be like, hey man, don't say that. That's that's kind of, you you go, you crossing you crossing the line. Oh, you simping. What? Oh well, you know our own group of women don't don't protect uh, deserve protect because look at their behavior. So black women are a monolith now. So black women are a monolith. But we can't. But if I was to call black men a monolith, now that's a problem. You see the hypocrisy. The hypocrisy that come out of you you guys' mouth is trash. You don't want to be grouped in with the Pookies and the Ray Rays, but the black woman is grouped in with I guess the degenerate black women because you're even the way you're framing it in your titles, black women. Do not deserve. Black women are the enemy. It's black women's fault. Look at the way that y'all framing framing the, the statement, bro. Y'all, what type of group? What group? What, you gotta be a pathetic group of men to argue whether your own group of women deserve protection, bro. Because y'all do. I don't even think a lot of you black men would die for your wife or protect your wife. But yet you're call you y'all be literally calling yourself leaders, providers, and protectors, but then arguing whether a black woman deserves protect that doesn't make any sense. You're arguing whether your own group of women deserve protection or not. Y'all will let y'all y'all will let a black woman get harmed. At this point, I'm starting to believe that a lot of black men will just let a black woman get harmed. You let your own mama get harmed, you let your grandma get harmed, you let your auntie get harmed, you let your 
you let your niece, what did she do? Because that's the first thing we, what did she do? Why was she out past nine o'clock? Why did she go to the gas station? It shouldn't, the question shouldn't be, why did she go to the gas station? Or why was she out past nine? Why did a man punch her? Why did a man grape her? Y'all don't even understand. Why well, I can't say, I say grape, but you know, just take out the G, right? Why did a man do that? And matter of fact, even if it's a woman assaulting another woman randomly, and you got a chance to stop it, bro, stop it. Because on a day-to-day -day basis, which all y'all are telling me is that if you saw a woman getting hurt, you would do nothing. How the heck is they supposed to qualify for protection? How, 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 how? You know what? Be layered, be layered in what you're saying. You, oh, oh, if she wear booty shorts, she don't deserve protection. So if a woman wearing booty shorts and she's just walking down the street and a man try to, try to, uh, grape her. And you see it, oh, well, she should have never wore booty shorts. You niggas are dumb. <laughs> you do, you dudes are, you, you black men with podcasts are actually pathetic, bro. You are the worst group of, like, y'all are the worst group of men to, to start speaking. A pathetic excuse of men to start speaking. Black women have to qualify for protection. Well, y'all are coons. Qualify, they don't qualify. Y'all have a good night, man. I, I, I can't stand seeing these type of stupid, dumb talking points. Then you, uh, Lord, y'all have a good night. <laughs>